How you doing ladies and gentlemen, my name is Franco and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. So, I found out a way to get us the comparison uh, numbers at the end of each episode. I was originally playing on a different profile, like the official channel profile, quote unquote official, but that didn't have a PSN account, so I switched back to my own profile and I replay the entirety of episode one. I think we can actually look at the choices. Uh, okay, so for... A lot of these were in the majority, except for the last one. Some people stayed hidden. There's a couple other things. Let's see. Wanted your plan. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I replayed the entire game, and I, not entire game. I replayed the entire episode, and I did pretty much everything exactly the same. The one thing I did differently was I found surveillance stuff in Chloe's house, and I told her about it. That's it. Anyways. Continuing on, episode two. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. <laughs> Um. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone! Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Well, as CCR would say, it looks like we're in for some nasty weather. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice, consequences of all your in-game actions, and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. You got a game. <laughs> I actually thought my own phone was going out for a second. Oh, we got stuff from Chloe. Like I said, I was there for you. No emoji. Job be later. I'll know time is not on your side. Don't get highlighted in my room. What else did I miss? For reals, me. Stop saying for reals. No one says that. 
or eat an ass buster breakfast at two whales. That, that, that ass, what? Even with all this. Uh, fucking, we got another message from Mother. Hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention I watered the plant as well. Shit going on. It is so cool well, I'm not gonna water it today, because last time I did that, it all fucking died. Like no time. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Oh, those must be like time travel films and shit. Uh, um, I'm gonna look at it. A rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Yeah. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I, am so I don't think she knows how friends work. Ow! <laughs> Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Yeah! Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. I'm also gonna help out Alyssa as much as possible. Every action in this game has consequences. You can't fart without there being a fucking consequence. Ooh. I can't read what he's saying. I'll check that later. Hey, it's Kate. I'm gonna talk to Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. No problem, Anytime. Kate. That exactly. guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? I don't oh, know what that is. Yes, of course. It's great so far. Oh, Ray Bradbury. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. See, what else can we interact with around here? So, okay. Uh, what's this? Otter power? I'm so not there. I'm sorry, what? Otter pet ha If someone just, like, had the ability to turn into water, that'd be f an otter, that'd be fucking hilarious. Rachel is a ho Okay, well, fuck you, too. Into the showers. Okay, if the camera can just focus on her face, then that would be great, because then I don't have to censor a damn thing. I have no commentary for this. I don't know what you want from me. What's up, Kate? Oh, this bitch. School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Um, don't what was shy. on Victoria's face? I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. She's not the one who's I got white stuff on her face. Up. Jokes. You know I've got him. Shit. Preach it, sister. Yup. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Yes. Good thing my faithful paint. minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Well, fuck you too. A 
she's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't her quote like, be the change you want to be or whatever? Didn't she quote <laughs> Gandhi? Why are you being a fucking asshole? I don't think you know how this works. You practice what you preach, you fucking ass. Mm. Ah. God, I hate people. And don't give me the whole, oh, it's just high school crap, because even high schoolers aren't this much of assholes. I dressed, then go give back Kate's book. First things first, we need to erase that, because if I can stop fuck everyone who wants to see it. it. It's worth it. Stop telling me about how my actions will have consequences. You can't tell me what to do. I'm living on the edge now. And insert copyright problems here. Can we talk to Dana? She's nice. Hi, Dana. Yay. How are you? Much like better Dana. than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. Me too. There we go. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. Nice. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Ooh. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Hmm. Fuck yeah. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. Exactly. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hmm? Contraceptive pill. I'm not going to ask. That is her choice, and she can do whatever she wants. What was he writing, anyways? Love you. Oh. Well, ain't that just nice? Let's see. Oh, bang, fuck you. You suck. Looks like something else was written there. Eh. Nobody messes with me, bitch. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? Wait. After I find Kate's book. Hell saw Nathan and said, Yeah, he can be in here, that's fine. What's this? Man, this could almost <clears throat> be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. What in the name of fresh hell? Is that a goat head? Put that shit away. Or burn it. Burn it with fire. Cleanse it from my conscience with fire. What's oh, this? Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Uh, get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Right, is there anything else in here? Uh, right. Of course she just spilled Fuck. soda on Kate's book. Why did you put Better the thing back? Fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Move Be gone, it. foul soft drink. You barely, you moved it like an inch. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Also, you reached before with the other hand. Well, now why? I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. I don't understand As the if things in the I hand. have to worry about being late anymore. All I right. do have all the time in the world now. On, keep it on. Can we irritate her life? Oh, private number. The fuck do you want? Keep your smart mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. That's uh weird. Oh, fine. I won't disturb you. 
Never ends. That has to be from Nathan. Right? Let's Kate? go see Kate. You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. Kind of like a cave in here, isn't it? What's this? Kate is all alone dealing with this video oh. bullshit. From I mom. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness your mother. I don't think they know how parenting works. Like, if you're religious, that's fine, but parent your fucking kid. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Oh. Everything looks so fun and colorful and... Oh, it's Positive. a knight. Huh? Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Um. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Okay, I'm going to look at everything. What's Kate this? really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it knocked. John 1-5. Don't know what part of the Bible that's from. I've never read it. Katie, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Oh. What's this? I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. A wabbit. It's Jesus. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. <laughs> Poster just comes to life. Hey, stop it. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Okay, I'm just gonna search for everything because reasons. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church Safe, girl by day, sorry. party monster by night. Oh. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. Oh, she crossed that out. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Oh, that's not very nice. Blinds, obviously she can't look at the blinds. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Oh. Gotta keep doing that. Wait, what's this? Ouch. She left out amnation. Hmm? We're on. Dear Kate, no spirited devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eyes. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. I was all over the place with that voice, I'm sorry. I'm trying. Good Whoa. lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Q hellfire from Hunchback of Notre Dame. And let's finally talk to Kate. Uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Hmm? I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. Hmm. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Oh. Why would he think that? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. Oh. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That's awful. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. I got time. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? 
I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. That prick. Did you go? Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. Huh? And... And... It's okay. You can tell us. And? That's all I remember. Okay. I don't know what happened. Don't push people too far. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already oh, spreading. Boy. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Bag. Book. So, Max, can I ask you a question? Hell yeah. And please be honest. What's up? Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Right. Should I go to the police? Look for proof. Go to the police. Hmm. I feel like if you went to the police, you'd be able to find, like, they, if you told them you were drugged, that there's just no memory, and next thing you knew, you woke up the next morning in a familiar place, but you were in a place you didn't recognize, I feel like the police could maybe get a warrant or something to search for proof, so I'm definitely going to say go to the police, do it. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. We'll chase backup us to the witness? ends of the earth. Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but... Okay, Max, come on. Really, she was, like, smiling, and now you're like, no. students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Mom. Kay looks like she needs a hug. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Yep. Oh, violin. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Oh. I will always help you, Kate. What's up, Chloe? Max, food, two whales, letters. Hey, what's up, Brooke? Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the snow? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. 
Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Uh, no, I haven't. No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And hm. Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Get a life and move on, bitch. Uh, okay. Well, that was unnecessary. Oh, Stella's the one who lives in 217. Nice shining reference. I know I already mentioned that in the last one, but I'm a huge fan of Stephen King, so... What's up, Samuel? Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Well, aside from that other part, yeah, man, totally get it. Stop by the animals. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you Don't trust the squirrels, man. They are evil, evil things. I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about huh. your destiny. Neat. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Talk so, about the snow. What did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? I don't know why I said it like that. Another you know? message from the Earth to get our shit together. Fair enough. We'll say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Could you have said that in a less creepy way, please? The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Samuel, I'm gonna go through your shit. Why? I, I wanna. I wanna look. I Thank you. definitely won't play with this thing again. I might. Why would you just leave an axe out here? Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. It's too <gasps> easy to sneak into. Here's Johnny. Don't you gonna make shining references? What's this? I've never seen Same Samuel stuff. wearing shades. What? And what's with this other crap? Fuck. Is that a fidget spinner? I hate those things. Files. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? Huh. How did Samuel get photos uh, of him uh -huh. posing? This is creepy. I'm just gonna walk away and ignore Samuel. And I'm going to run like hell because fuck this shit, I'm out. Hello, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Ah, uh, Victoria. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her, I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Are you sure about that? I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. Um. We've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. And we're going to skip this because there's no need to be an asshole. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Oh. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. Didn't That's you why I leave a link to I'm Kate's video? Glad we did. This will have uh, I'm just being nice. Why does everything have consequences? The fuck is this? <clears throat> this is Nathan's father. This is a message. 
slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You are not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you are the last. Consider this a final, polite warning. Well, maybe if you son didn't break into my fucking room. Max, check it out. What's up, Warren? Warren, How's your what eye? are you doing here? <clears throat> oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action you Well, said. yo, my home dog, let me drop you a sick beat and you can rap. Thanks. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that To be girl, fair, you told me to leave. She's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Oh, she's just a pirate. Yeah, she's Chloe Price. An old friend. Chloe Price? We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Yes. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'm gonna I'll tell everyone about it. Later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Mm. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Ooh. Let's go ape! Fuck yeah. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than <laughs> I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Neat. I've actually never seen the Planet of the Apes films. Okay. Frame rate. Stop shitting the bed when we change a scene. David talking to Nathan cannot be mm. a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. David knock his punk ass down. Or Rachel. Give you five whole dollars if you knock his punk ass down. Fuck you, you're not getting five dollars. Okay. <laughs> I thought... I think his name's Evan. I thought he was driving the bus and I was very confused. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. What? I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk team. about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. What's up, dude? No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Kick ass, dude. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Uh, hmm, I just got off the school bus. I just got off okay, the yeah. school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Yeah, times are tough. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? Mm. I can't even afford to live here. Oh, jeez. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Let me get that job, ma'am. Why? Oh, it's the RV. Chloe, run in late, grab a booth, dine our mom will feed you. Something better. I'll be lucky if I make it by noon. If you make it by noon. Hm. Obviously, nobody took my advice. Maybe he thought it was like talking about himself. What? Hole to an There's a lot of holes to another universe around here. Uh, what else can we do? Can we go around the RV this time? Hmm. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Hi, puppy. Uh, stop that. Stop. No bark. I'm just gonna walk away then. What's up, man? Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. As opposed to un not so serious know. fish. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Ah, uh, man. Has changed that much? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. <laughs> it's 
Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Oh. I'm assuming you did good. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor mm. rights. Hate the Prescotts. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. Oh, that Jesus Christ. Much. Do you know them? Do you know them? Do good for my working no. time. But I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that Fair way. enough. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Good luck, sir. Let me look at these flyers. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Well, take one. In the main main drought in the bay. Not a bad idea. Uh, before I go in, I'm going to look around to see what else is going on. Newspaper. I wonder if they explained that snow. Weather service baffled by the snow. What's up, sir? Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! Ah, uh, the snow is odd. Have you long? How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a oh, few years. Well, that's fucking cheery. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Hey, you and leave Rachel Amber out of this. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Well, you're kind of a dick. Homeless. Can we learn your name? Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. That is correct. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Ooh. Do you know Joyce? You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. That was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. Hmm. <laughs> Dave Madsen? His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. <laughs> Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. Bet your ass he better. What about Prescott family? I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family. Especially not the law. Jesus. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Yeah, they're trying. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. Hmm. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes? What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. Oh. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. Hmm. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Fair enough. Goodbye. Is there anything else? Actually, I think there's a photo back here of the Doge. Okay, let's get some breakfast, which sounds pretty fucking good. I have not eaten today. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware makes me feel 13 again. Trevor and Justin, what's up? Justin That's the is wrong such a fucking mold. button. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Understandable. 
Shouldn't you be taking photos? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. Yeah. <laughs> you crack me up, Maxer. What the fuck? I'm baked. So I laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Ooh. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you oh. later, Max. I believe you're hey, Trevor. Trevor. Yeah. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. What? Yeah. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. <laughs> Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Right. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Okay, you don't gotta be a fucking asshole. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? I don't think she's weird. I think she's just Canadian. Leaflets. Restroom. Kate Marsh, love you long time. I fucking hate these people. Flush before pissing on the floor. That graffiti has been here forever. Oh, all right then. Hmm. Gross. Fire walk with me. I don't know what that means. All I know is it's a photo, and I have it. Hold on, is that a doe? That's a doe. Fucking things follow me everywhere. Arcadia Gay Sucks Dick. Thank you, deck. redneck poet. Gotta hate the... Hey, public bathrooms. What's up, dude? What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let okay. me suffer quietly. I'm being a fucking asshole. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Ah, uh, just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. Hmm. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? I'm sorry, grilled mac and cheese? That sounds fucking delicious. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Hmm. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. Ah, huh. neat. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. Oh. Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Oh, what? Well, that's so <laughs> fucking weird. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? Yeah, I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Eh, who can be? She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. Eh, teenagers, what are you gonna do? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Because he's a prick. He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. Mm. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. All right. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Well, at least not an asshole, man. How about you? Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. 
technically everything is in eyesight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. Oh, how does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass, like you. Oh, Joyce rules. Joyce rules. Oh, I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. And it's because you That's fucking how she deserve rolls. it. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Hmm. I just want to see something real quick. And if this leads to nothing, I'll just cut it out. Jukebox. Guitar tune, man. Let's crank up the sticks. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. And if you don't know that reference, Looks you fun. are missing a funny fucking movie. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like no. you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're hmm. still smart. Hey. But not that smart. I have my moments. Now you get busted for smoking pot. Oh, well then. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good Actually, man. Actually, I met him before then. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for I you promise Chloe. Nothing. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I hmm. did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hey, hope we, we see all more process of you. things in our own way. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. I think she understands. She just needs. Chloe some. understands. Yeah. She just needs. Exactly. Time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases: expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see. I'm uh, living on the edge. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility. Yeah, I did. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Oh, really? He cares about Kate Marsh? He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing. That's because he's probably a shit cook. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, hmm. now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Ooh. Ah, I got choices. I fucking love waffles. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Fuck yeah. Coffee, fucking waffles. Uh, Christ, I should not have recorded this on an empty stomach. Hungry girl, pronto. Hmm? What's this? The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Belgian waffle and fried fish. First off, the fuck? 
Second of all, almost 10 bucks. Jesus H. Tap Dancing Christ, that better be the best Belgian waffle on this side of the planet. What's this? Nerd graffiti. <laughs> Foreign must have been here. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. The lighthouse look looks so lighthouse. mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Eh, close enough. Drink some of that coffee. Oh, this it's the stuff like that courses through my veins. Deja vu. I keep going back in time. Jesus Christ, this episode's already in an hour. Beer? What, what kind of dive is this? A diner? See, well, I can't do much else. Can I just... Oh, I guess I gotta wait. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. Okay, I thought that was a sin in bun for some reason. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe... Ugh. Hmm. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil and they shall arrive. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. You. Yeah. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Uh -huh. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. That's fine. I'll just take you Canadian can ham. Still the same. Another reason to blow this town. Oh. What is this shit on the jukebox? How dare you? I put that guitar tune on. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. Was saving you in this the last episode not like so enough fast. proof? We'll start slow. Right here, now. Now, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have a gun? No, you have keys, definitely. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Fair enough. Describe my keychain. Uh, bullet, no. Bullet? A bullet. Just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Oh. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Give me a hot second. Yoink. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Huh. Okay. And, uh, cigarettes. Three, five, seven, and fuck. Two, four. One second, I'm bad with math. Alright, 80, 84, 86. This is a warning ticket. Uh, okay. Alright, I think you got it. Okay. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Stop saying that, please. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. Yep. Uh, it is a panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super but Max. It's a robot. You do have that really? Irish luck card. Oh, okay, well, we're gonna what go else? that route, I see. Got cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven, I believe. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. 
Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Uh, a parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? It was 10... 34. 10 34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Fair enough. Could, would it have killed you to just say whatever? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. <laughs> How much do I have? Uh... Fuck. I think it was 86? 86 cents. That's right. Living large okay. in Arcadia Bay. You have officially entered the Twilight Zone. Dun dun. That's Law and Order. I literally just got chills all over my neck. <laughs> you have powers. No shit. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. And I'm hungry like the wolf. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. All right. Oops. Did you break nice. another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't okay. slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. I think there's one more thing. And... This is yet. sure the hell better than that other. Speak. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Let's see. Uh, the trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Uh, and Lark comes on the cop radio, and his partner leaves with Adam. The cop gets an emergency alert on his he radio. Eats that is what I would do if I was a cop. Car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Fair enough. Justin and Trevor fight, and Tr Joyce beats them with a fucking brick. Uh, Joyce stops him. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh, let's see. The jukebox goes crazy as a... I think it's a cockroach. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Oh? Huh? Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. Oh, but he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. Neat. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! Oh, Jesus the Christ. best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! I don't think you know how this works. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. Why is that that's the first fucking, fucking thing she goes to? We have to play. I don't have time. You <laughs> have not just say that. Ah, jokes. Check out oh. your nose. Too much blow? No, hey, too much okay? time too rewinding. Much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. You didn't even finish the... This is why we don't have nice things. 
Wait, can I talk to the trucker? Oh. What's okay, wrong? Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and what to do. Come on, huh. before mom starts some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead and chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. First off, bullshit. Second of all, Kate's going through some shit. Answer. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? Oh, fuck off. I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. Fucking... I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Jesus Christ, Chloe, calm down. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Yeah, well, Chloe can deal with it. Chloe's a big girl. I think that's Frank. Watching. Waiting in the dark. It's broad daylight, he's not waiting in the dark, I have lied to you. Me. Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you. Really? And how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Oh, so we're definitely being watched. Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we Have you seen what an army can do? Drink? If Yuck. they take out the person you who, like... You so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Ah, fuck it. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. Eh. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Why can't you find the fucking bottles? <sighs> Damn you, fetch quests. <sighs> Stupid bottle. Damn you, shortness. Where? There we go. Yoink. How many? Five. So, four more. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. And they're probably got another boat. What was it? Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Oh, it's an old camera. I wonder oh, how many everything. generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Yoink. Boom. Only three bottles left. I think there's an optional photo <laughs> around here. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. One second. We're so going ape. Newburgh is 60 miles away. You leave around 5. I drive. Has to get supplies for the drive in. And maybe we can have dinner first or whatever. Go ape. Too late. <laughs> that dough that is that the dough. perfect photo op. Where did it go? It's right there. I'm kind of blind. Click. Thanks. Now let's see. 
Uh, wait, what? Fuck me, it's a ghost. So I think there's a bottle right in here. That ain't good. Let me just do that real quick. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Wait, what? That's that is not the same. Eat shit Thanks and live. for the tip. Eh, doesn't sound like a good time. There's definitely some stuff in this here. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. Bracelets. That kind of hurts. Oh. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Must have been Rachel. Bottle. One more bottle to go. Ouch. What's up, Kate? Thank you for giving me such great advice about going to the police and telling them everything. Appreciate your stand for me. Keeps my faith. Get him on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. Marty in trouble around here. Thanks so much for talking to me this morning. So I'd have a serious crying needed friend. Making a difference. What the fuck is this? Leaflet. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Ooh. DJ Irish Bacon. What in It sounds delicious. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Nobody's looking. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. Yeah. Everything has consequences. Stop telling me to stop doing things. Game. Gun shells. Those shells look fresh. That's disturbing. Yo. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. You you did nothing. hard about where you got this rewind power from God or the gods. So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? No. Oh yes. Fuck. <laughs> Once I figure out exactly how my power works. A god must doth know these things. Amen. And while Must you build an empire, no, I'm going to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Yes. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate. Which means booze bottles. Speak. Okay, I saw like a gun in one of the, those pictures. I... I think that means I can take a picture of Chloe when she holds the gun. I'm not sure. I've never gotten that one. The Bigfoots were here. Go tame! I'm, I don't know sports. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Okay. And before we continue... Just chill. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. I'm on a boat, a motherfuckers. Single. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Hmm. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Okay, that's enough. Let's grab the bottle and shoot some shit. Voila. Okay, that was a train. Thought the fucking boat was falling. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. Here are your fucking bottles. Thanks, Max. There's your singular bottle. One more for the road. You're serious about this. 
We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Good luck with that. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Okay. Uh, go to the right a little. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Bitch can't do it again. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. Good job, that you shot so a bottle. Fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Then you gotta aim. Yeah. Up. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is hmm. fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. How okay. do we get creative here? Let's see. I forget this one actually. Uh, Give me something to sh Let's see shoot that barrel. Crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel. Your time has come. Listen to those fat bullet beats. Nice. Wrong thing though. Okay. Uh, I think Give me something to shoot, Max. Shoot that rim. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now. Okay. Hella yes. Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Hmm. Let's Dude, not I need shoot a target the before I shoot. Why would we shoot the gas tank? Ah, uh, shoot How the about tire. for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Like a bounce. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Oh, okay, well, we died. How much are we altering history by just rewinding 10 seconds? You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Hmm. Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. Oh god. god this power really messes with my head. I think I can take another picture again. again. I'd rather go chat up Chloe. Let me just look first. <laughs> look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. There we go. That's where it is. Earning those trophies. Colorized. Huh. Neat. Uh, I don't think there's anything else, so let's just keep the story moving. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. Yeah. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. I knew someone was watching us. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. This is or creepy. Is it Bonnie and Clyde. Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Why were you following us? Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? 
Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. No. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step Oh, back. okay. That's a logical fucking reaction, I guess. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? I'm gonna cut you so bad. You're gonna wish I didn't cut you so Please. bad. Please step back. <laughs> You're kidding. Put that down. Uh. Take the fucking shot. That is hilarious. Fuck. Oh man. <laughs> I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me, and you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. That was you a very until good Friday threat. To pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. What part of Try let me kill a person who time. owes me Brainiacs. money is a good idea? Then you'll never get the money. Moron. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, right. I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Eh. Where? Oh, there she is. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Do you guys also have your thoughts just interrupt each other all the time? It's quite a pain, I can assure you. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! I don't think I'd want to go anywhere don't near fall. his ass. I'm just glad you were here. Me too, I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Drugs. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. Hmm. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? A little freaked out. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. With air. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell oh, me because that would have been a smart fucking idea. You and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Bowers. Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. That's the last name is Bowers is the last name of someone it. How many Stephen King connections am I gonna make in this game? I uh, hung out? Hung out. You don't mean you... Uh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. Okay. He I'm never even tried. Making sure. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. Not judging. Okay. No. A little I want to know how Frank got Rachel's mm. bracelet. What do you think? Uh, I think we need to be careful. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Yeah. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. I wish so much time has passed, though. You. Do you hmm. think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. Oh. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. <laughs> we would all be hella best friends forever. I know she Stop must saying be cool that fucking word. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. 
Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bee poet here. <laughs> That's what our does, man. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Huh? Oh. Perfect. But we had a perfect shot. Fucking tornado visions ruining my photography. Damn it. Hold on, Chloe. Stop doing stupid things. What's that noise? The train. Oh shit. Hang on, I got this. Awesome. It's not locked. Okay, but I have nothing to use it with though. One second. Oh, holy shit! Come on, Max. Uh, Come gotta be, gotta be a gotta be a thing. A crowbar. This is. Yoink. I can definitely use this bad boy. Please get me out of here! Shit, I can't budget it at all. <laughs> gotta rewind. Just gotta, I need, I need. Fuck. Okay. I'll take that. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. The train's coming! Max! There we go. Hurry! Uh, Which let's... wire to cut? Fuck. Red? That's the right cable. And yoink. Yes, I did it. Yeah. You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Stop doing stupid Aren't things. I'm glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot. It was cool to spend time in your lair, but. I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My Neat. powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. For. Oh. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. <laughs> Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Yeah, maybe. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <laughs> You're high. You would be too Wait, if you had to deal with this shit. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? No, but what do you know? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. Hmm. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? Don't say the word storm. I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they Yo. teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! It's the like end said, of the world as we the know it. The superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again.
into the Vortex Club this October. It's so fucking horrible, you'll always want to leave. I really I shouldn't be a spokesman. I before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. They call me the Wanderer. Okay. So are you going to that Vortex Can't talk to them. Club party? Like I would miss it. Hello, Zach. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sex in Victoria. Ah, uh, you know, man. It happened. It's over. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit? Pretty much. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Yeah, like that. Like now. Then let's not. Because she shit. She's pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Huh. Neat. Uh, okay, I thought one of them was Nathan, and I was going to punch someone in the jaw. Hello, Courtney. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. No. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Soiree? Really? Oh, like you care. I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. Oh. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Is there a dress code? I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Neat. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. What, what does that change? What's up, Trevor? Oh, he's busy. We talked to the principal. Sure, why not? Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Fuck you! Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Well, someone broke in my Our dorm and, like, defaced my photos, so, uh... Campus safety. I have something to be scared of. I missed all of that. Uh, Hassel Kate? I saw Mr. Madsen Hassel Kate Marsh yesterday. Fuck. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not. Probably not the same one you see. God damn it. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Okay, fine, you fucking prick. I'm gonna rewind all that. You can go fuck yourself. Speaking of David, you can just fuck right off. Can we talk? Or we can talk. I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Uh, yes. Stick yes, with the story. It was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. Ah. I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. Yeah. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. Then why are you fucking hassling her? But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. Oh, 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 it will ooh. take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing oh, students. Oh, 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 oh. Isn't that your responsibility as head of keep making that sound. Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. Hmm. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. Ah, all right then. That's all, Max. <sighs> What's up, Warren? 
Sit down. Science something. I can't read that for my fucking life. I'm in the sci-fi lab now. I'm no Schrodinger's kitty. See you soon. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds mm. me. I have to squirt well, they seem happy. Hey, what's up, Miss Grant? Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking Counter -objectives. about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Yeah. Uh, photos. What about photos? I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole Fall is actually campus my favorite time is a of the year too. Delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. Uh, do you know Jefferson? You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. Hmm. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. Yeah. I can't wait for fall either. It's all about the atmosphere. You're the artist and I'm the scientist. Like yin and yang. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. Yeah. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. Hmm. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Neat. Why's my Pluto? That's not a planet. Aquarium. Oh, hey, Brooke. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Uh, yeah. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all oh. jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? <laughs> I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate oh, to hit well. him, can't be but that hard. Don't let me get in your way. So long. Click. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect yeah, timing. Yeah, Beatles. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. <laughs> Have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Uh, let's try potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Neat. Ooh. Weird science. Well, I can clearly interact with them again. And lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Yeah. You might want to back up a little. Jesus Christ. She blinded me with science. You're welcome. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Yeah. Okay, let's continue with the main story. So you can't it's Kate. Help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Kate. Come on, what's up? Please, leave me alone. Oh. Jefferson, what did you do? Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. I, I was literally trying to talk to you. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. Okay, fuck off so about the I photo. Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Well, he's a dick. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? 
<laughs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? Hmm. I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Hmm. Yeah, I know Kate's freaked out by Kate it. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means Excuse well, me? but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yeah, I have. Yes, yeah, I fucking talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Okay, well, he said he wouldn't. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. He's a fucking asshole. So you asshole. don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? <sighs> yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. No, no. Hmm? I'm gonna listen. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. what are you saying? Huh? What are you saying? Is it important? Huh? Okay, fine. Sure, okay. I'm touching now you talk, yeah. Prick. Hello, Stella! Beautiful, Hayden. Boom. What's Boom. up, Daniel? What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw yeah. Dana you after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Left. I hope you like the right. sketch I did of you Show yesterday. You oh, we can talk about it. Neat. Love. love. And love it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. <laughs> Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. Neat. We'll talk about it later. We were a famous muse. Alyssa. I might as well take the photo, why not? Cause she looks like she's deep in thought. Contemplating all of life's hard mysteries. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Or she's contemplating shit. That works too, I suppose. Well, she's in the middle of stuff. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Eh, you can fuck right off. I'm kind of doing something now, Mr. Max. Like right? Like what about you, Stella? Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Little... Yeah. I think she can hear us. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Right. No time to talk, Max. Art in progress. Neat. You two, the I fuck can't out of here. The principal lets him stay in school after I told him what happened. Did he just? Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that. Quiet, Victoria. Get the fuck out of the way. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. It would take one to know one. Now. Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Considering you broke into my fucking Assholes. room earlier, I know you won't forget me. Don't ever break into my room again, by the way. And now... We wait. Wait, there goes Kate. Okay, why is and that's creepy. taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Weird is the nice way to put it. It's fucking creepy. Hi, what's up, Warren? What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual all right, suspects anyways, here. Let's see what's going on here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? 
I think everybody has Let's seen draw. Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. <laughs> or a friend? Ah. Uh, beautiful. Friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson Self published his own little book of photo tapes. Quick. No Can phones in class, Max. Put that away. Fuck you, this is important shit. Judge. I need to know that my drug dealer got the fucking stuff. Click. Let's see. Max, the boss with the gun, marry me. Illegal in Oregon for now. Fuck that shit, elope. Uh, I love these characters. Usually, anyway. people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. Can Can't we just get up and go? Like, let's go dot her. Let's... Speaking of participation, let's go. There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Fuck your like contest. Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you, you can't see it, but I'm flipping like you off. Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. That beautiful word about the oh, I actually heard about that. Light and dark. In my uh, fine arts and humanities class. Such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in I guess Kate will miss class. What's going on? I'm worried about her. Come into my class like that ever again. I'm sorry, Listen, I completely ignored all that. Something's going down. Dismissed. What's happening? Hmm? Is this for real? It flipped out. Has something to do with the cage. What is it? Who is that up there? Kate! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh. Help! Oh God! Help! I, I have to do something to help her. Is that Kate? Not again! Not now! Oh. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Huh? Why is everyone just standing around, like, filming it and taking pictures and shit? What is wrong with people? Keep... going, Max. You... can... do it. Can we run? We can't run. Alright, this is trippy as fuck. What's with the lens flares? There is no sun. How dare you? Maybe you should have done more than take pictures, yeah, creep. Hang in there, Kate. Yes. Alright. Uh, wait, what's... why is... Reality's doubling over and I don't like it. It's... okay, well, that's good. Uh, what are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Oh, joy. Do I have to do this by myself? Seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always 
feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. It wasn't your fault. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please. You don't have to do this. Did I find Max, out? I'm in a nightmare and nope. I can't okay. wake up. Come on, we can, we can uh, save her. I put myself to sleep. And then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. <sighs> you had to be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. <laughs> but I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. You just said you were going to come with us. And your father cares. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. Thank he Christ we looked through all the stuff in her room. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. Oh. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Come on. Yes! I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> we saved her. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. This is not the time for jokes, Max. Oh, man. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so okay, proud frame rate, the way stop. Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. Oh, fuck you, David. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What and I take the whiskey in my bottle on the rocks. I need to stop making Mr. alcohol jokes. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. You dick. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Yep, prick. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. You fucking asshole. Miss Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Ooh. We can blame Nathan, David, or Jefferson. Jefferson made her cry. He... He said he couldn't help, which... Understandable. Anyone would feel that way. David... David stalked her and bullied her, sure. But Nathan did drug her, and if he didn't do that, none of this shit would have happened. So, fuck you, Nathan. I'm bringing you All down. All I know is that Kate was at a party, and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Oh, Kate fuck was you. Loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Oh, fuck Bullshit. you. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. Do it. I already have a personal lawyer. 
Careful, Mr. Prescott. Poor little rich kid. I've been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Please tell me you didn't look at it. Okay, and David, you're a creep. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. <laughs> Fuck Excuse you. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Coffee. Yeah, you look devastated. I'm here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Uh, let's just sign the statement. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Yeah. All right. What in the name of... Oh, it's raining like a mad bastard outside. Okay. Perfect backdrop for this episode, I guess. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause. Like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. <sighs> she did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is but the But she's right still word. alive. Like a disease. So she's gonna get better. Just one and a half times. Oh, Jesus Christ, Nathan. Warren. Warren. I don't Whatever the fuck your name is. But... There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof mm. that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? Some weird fucking shit. What the hell is this? Case in point. Weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. crying about also weren't you suspended why the fuck are you still on campus hey Frank and Doge
to the folders again. Darkness. Uh, uh. That's fucked up. Okay. And on that creepy note. Alright, that's the end of the episode. Let's skip ahead and see what our choices are. You told Kate to go to the police. Wait, what? So many people didn't tell Kate to go to the police? Really? Damn. You answered Kate's call. Yep. You tried to shoot Frank. <laughs> A lot of people don't like him. A lot of people don't like Nathan either, because 70%. And we managed to save Kate. Like a fucking boss. Didn't monitor your plan. Helped Alyssa. 8% didn't erase the link. Hmm. Wow. We're friendly with Taylor. You accepted Warren's invitation. Wrote a message. Oh, on the wall. Okay. You didn't help Warren. I fucking helped Warren. What are you fucking kidding me? Assholes. Gain entry to the Vortex Club. Fuck yeah. You didn't tamper with the railroad tracks, and you told on David to Mr. Jefferson. Because he's a prick! Alright. Oh. Dun, dun, dun! Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Life is Strange. I hope you're all enjoying this. I am thoroughly enjoying this game still and I just can't wait to keep playing it so thank all of you so much for watching and as always I will see you all later on ciao